Hello, welcome back. I have a much anticipated bathroom declutter. It's a little late. I think by the time this goes up, I'm gonna be moving like the same week, so uh, I had to get it done. I will not be filming the storage closet, like bathroom closet declutter until a later date. It's all of like my things from when I was a lot younger and the stuff I won't be moving with me to my apartment, but I still wanna do it because I wanna get it all decluttered for my mom and then like, so it could be like a cute little hangout room. Like I used to sit in there all the time when I was little so that my niece and nephew can use it. So um, that will still be coming. It's just not gonna be like in the lineup, but I will do it, don't worry. I'm gonna get in, take everything out sort it, clean it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the bathroom. I'm gonna end up taking these and putting them into my wash while we're doing this. So when the cleaning portion comes, I'll have fresh regs to put down. Um, so this is what we are working with. P.S. I did what um, one of you recommended, and I put these baskets in here instead of that really ugly black organizer I hated that I don't fit but it works for now. Um, I don't need to declutter those because I actually already did it when I got rid of the black thing. So I just have like tampons and feminine products down there. And then I just have my like toilet paper rolls in the top one. Um, so yes, we are going to avoid that section. But this whole vanity, hello Chester, this whole vanity is just like brimming full. So, what are you doing? What? Um, obviously makeup is going to stay there. I've already decluttered that. I'm gonna take everything out from underneath and in the drawers and uh, you can you can stay there. He's gonna probably come out with me. Actually, I'll just show you real fast what we're working with just so you can see before and after. I'm not gonna take those out. I already decluttered my towels a while ago and as you can see, I need those in there. Everything else though is coming. Um, whew. let's see, all of that, we have random stuff in there, I don't even know what some of those things are, this is a drawer I don't use, hair ties galore, this is, this is, I haven't been through it in a long time, so that'll be fun. I have this stuff that I use, I think I use a lot of that, we'll see, I don't know. And then going into my cabinets, you will see I have a lot of stuff. Okay, let's move all this out onto my living room rug. So I have kind of sectioned it off into all of the different categories. This is all of my hair stuff, I've pulled it all out as far as like, um, like serums and stuff go. I'll get into like hair ties and utensils and stuff afterwards. My old lovers fall into my covers Where they sink one by one Yeah, I watch them disappear to nothing Disposable as chewing gum Here is all of my face stuff that I pulled out. There is a billion, bazillion things. Um, I will real fast just show you all of this right here is like my daily use stuff. Um, I have like an eye cream, a couple face creams, a like acne mask, and an acne oil. And three of these bottles are actually like on their last whim, so they are about to be in my empty soon. There are deal breakers where I come from. My family don't suffer, fools glad they know. Do we kiss and lie in bed to feel awkward silences? Do we feel emptiness afterwards? Cause I want something deeper If I'm a find a keeper Not saying I'm some genius But I'm smart enough to know I'm worth fighting for Here is everything else from the cabinets and then on top of the counters it was a little harder to break down in like category because it is like a lot of miscellaneous weird stuff, but we're going to dive into it. Yeah, I want something deeper. If I find it, mama keep up. Not saying I'm some genius. But I'm smart enough to know I'm worth fighting for. Now my ex got baggage like a bellhop. Yeah, I love a cry for help. 
here is everything that was inside of the pullout drawers and just a lot of random stuff again i think the first thing i'm gonna do is go i've already went through my ponytails and kind of sectioned off i'm getting rid of all of these ponytails right here and then i'm going to keep the ring of ponytails for working out on here and then i do have a collection of scrunchies and I wear these um, every night, like after my shower, I just pull my hair in a ponytail because I hate having my hair lay on my shoulders. It's too long. My deal breakers, where I come from. My family don't suffer, fools glad they know. Do we kiss and lie in bed? For an overview, this is everything that I'm going to be getting rid of. Don't mind all of this stuff. This is everything I'm getting rid of um, thus far. But here is everything underneath the left side of the sink where my towels are. And we're just going to go through a lot of it's like body stuff and hair stuff. Cause I want something deeper. Finally, we have the other side of the bathroom sink, and I don't think this side has been cleaned out since 1994 when we uh, moved in here, so this is uh, fun, because I found a gym that I will show you guys. Okay, so first off, I just have a bunch of like cleaning supplies, you'll see. Some gyms, a thermal, like menstrual cramp. There's no way. I think that was my mom's because my sister and I wouldn't have used that. But wait for it. There's a huge picture of me in here. I think I was in preschool for that. Why is that in there? Why is that not on the wall? Like that's a that is a keeper. So this is everything that I am decluttering from my bathroom. There's just product on product, so. Now I'm gonna BRB and do the cleaning portion. unless you do it and when you do like a full declutter which is highly suggestible to get just everything out and declutter everything because if you do it like in small bits you're just gonna get very overwhelmed and you probably won't finish it so it's all done I will say I'll be the first one to say it this is not minimalistic I'm not there yet this has been a journey I have Chester hair in the mouth I'm still going, I'm still decluttering. I do like monthly like what I decluttered. So like, I'm sure you'll see bathroom stuff. The thing I will say about this is because I had such a big collection, I got rid of things that I knew I wouldn't be able to use and I kept things that I knew like within the year, I'd probably be able to go through. And if I don't, it's gonna have to go because things expire and I don't wanna just hold on to things that are gonna expire when other people could use them. So while you'll see in here in a second that I do have like probably 
too, too many oils and I have doubled up on stuff. I do go through a lot of my bathroom stuff um, very quickly. So it will end up where I just have what I'm using and that's it, no backups. I just didn't wanna get rid of stuff I knew I would be repurchasing very soon. So you'll see as I go like, Brittany, do you really need like two of those acne toners? I buy those in bulk. Um, I'm no more talking, let's look at what I did. So when you walk in the bathroom, this is what it looks like. There's just, there's the closet door to where the sad, sad storage unit is. Okay, um, I have just, you know, my shower. I washed all of my rugs. I cleaned the floor with my hands. <laughs> um, toilet, you know, nothing fancy there. I have my vanity. And then I have more stuff. You guys know the drill. Okay, so over here I just have my toothbrushes. This is all stuff that either like these won't fit in my cabinets because they're too tall or stuff that I use every day like um, my hairbrush and like my headband and face soap and lotion. I don't love having this out. Like I wish I had a better organizer shelf for it um, that may come in the future. I just have my Bath & Body Works soap. And then the rest of the van is empty except for right here I have my makeup and my like, what do you call like cotton swabs, toothpicks, that's not toothpick, ear swabs. I have um, a shaver and some dental floss. And then down here is just like my acne, my combs, and then my eye cream. And then one of you pointed out that I should not keep my brushes in here which is such a good idea like I wasn't even thinking like obviously it gets damp in here because you know it's a shower it's a bathroom and that like this would create bacteria because if you guys have been following me I got like some styes on my eyes and had to get rid of a ton of stuff <sighs> and I'm still like really worried about getting it again so yeah I just I wanted like as much as I can buy products that have like pumps and stuff that won't trap bacteria in it so you know working on it. In my first cabinet, I just have my eye um, contact stuff. I have a little bit of Vaseline that helps take makeup off. Like if I mess up my eyeliner, it'll swab a little bit down and it fixes it. My deodorant. This is just my soap collection. I just have one left and then those are going to go in my kitchen um, on a little tray. So those are just like hand soaps. And then I have some toothpaste, like little travel stuff and a travel container and some whitening strips. Um, I have some nail polish and then a bio oil that I haven't used. And I heard it's like really amazing, but like, you know, why haven't I opened it? I'm not sure. And then in the middle one, I have up top a tag away remover. I'm gonna probably just go ahead and use it. I don't, I'm afraid to use it, so I don't know why. I don't, it's not supposed to hurt. I'll do it in a vlog like this week. That's the goal. Um, I have some like oils and like night treatments right here. That's where I'm saying like I have one, two oils and like two or three night serums. Like I can probably get rid of one of those. Um, I have another like facial toner. These are two of uh, face lotions. I'm going through some drunk elephant right now. Um, this stuff is really good. If you have dry skin like this, it's going to just completely moisturize and you're not gonna have an issue anymore. It's probably a little too moisturizing for what my skin needs, but wintertime, I'm gonna soak that up. Um, in here, I have my Pixie Glow Tonic, which has my name on it, I love. It's just the cutest thing. Um, my So Totally Clean, I have two of these. I go through these so fast. So um, that's where I'm saying like, I, I'm fine doubling up on these. And then it was, buy two get one free I got this um these are good like travel pads basically the same thing I have a cleanser on lineup that will go um be the next thing that I use when my current one is out and then another cleanser here so I do have a couple but these are going to be used don't you worry and then the last cabinet I have my face mask right there I have, this is like a matte, total matte. You're just supposed to put it on your skin and it helps like absorb oil. I don't really find that it works that much. I think I'm gonna use it a few more times and decide to toss it or not. Um, and then some like foot uh, lotion and salve. And I have one Bath and Body Works. It's almost empty, uh, antibacterial. And down here I have my Dory nose strips. Love those. I have some sunscreen that I thought I'd end up using, but like I just don't go outside, so that's probably gonna get tossed in because like, 
you only keep those for the year and they go bad. Um, and then I have two of these little skin peelers. You put them on your skin and it gets rid of dry skin. I love those, so they're in the lineup. Um, and then I think I'm gonna leave, some of this I'm gonna leave here and not take with me to the apartment because when I come back, I won't have to take those things with me, I'll have them. Um, two hair oils, Anthony actually uses this one. I think he'll end up using that one too. I'm not like totally told, to oh my gosh, totally sold. Wow, on hair oil yet. I just, I'm afraid of using it. And then over here, it's just more hair stuff. I have some texturizing sprays. I have some conditioning sprays and like strengthening sprays and a hair mask back there. So that's all the stuff that I'm currently using. Some of it's breaking me out though, so I need to see which ones and then toss it. And in the drawers, I got nothing in that one. I have my skin abrasion in this one. And then I have some like toothbrush um, heads for my whatever that like, not, I don't think I have a Sonic, but I have an electrical toothbrush. Here I have, these are the only nail polishes that I own. I'll probably end up like getting rid of more. I just don't use them. I have um, a couple of like a sharpener, a tweezer, um, nail clippers, and then this is a um, measuring tape. And then these are just empty Lush containers. I'm holding, I don't know why I'm holding onto those. I never go to Lush. I don't even have one near me. I'll probably get rid of those. Um, I do have one Lush thing I have to transport that I'll use. And in this drawer, I just have some hair ties and then my toothpaste. And very lastly, I just have over here in my cabinets, this is all of my like hair um, dryer and curling iron and a few like backup. Um, I have a shampoo and conditioner down there and a few lotions, and then of course my travel bags, I just keep right in the one. Ooh. And then on the side, all I have are towels. And finally in this cabinet over here, I have my um, electric toothbrush, my flosser. I don't know why I don't use the electric toothbrush. Um, I end up just using like a normal manual one, but I'm hoping when I move, like, I'll just, I'll use that and I won't take any manual ones because it's, I don't understand it. Like, it doesn't make sense. I spent a lot of money on that toothbrush and I don't use it. Pedig, I have um, baby wipes I use as I take my makeup off and then um, just cleaning supplies and then my first aid kit. So that was my declutter. If you guys are on this journey to um, leave in the comments below how you're doing, it's definitely not minimalistic yet. It is getting there. It's so much better than where it was. I'm happy, like, I'm happy with where I've been and like what I've been doing, so. I just need to keep on at it. I will be doing apartment like moving updates, so be on the lookout for that. You'll see kind of what I do with the new place. I'm very curious how it's gonna turn out because Anthony's moving in with me and like it's just gonna be double stuff and I I don't know how it's gonna be. It's <laughs> we will see and we will see together. So I'm gonna head out. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and join this journey with us. And I love you so much. Good. I just wanna let you know I was fighting for